Hi guys, it's Neff here, and I thought it was time I make a video with commentary showing you exactly how to beat SCP Containment Breach. I'll try to include as much information as I can, but if I miss anything out or if you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. For this I'm going to be playing on safe difficulty, but if you want to know how to beat it on Keta, I have plenty of videos on my channel of me playing it on Keta, so hopefully that will show you how to deal with that whole situation, so check them out. Okay, let's go. Okay, the first thing you want to do is press tab to open up your inventory and then just get rid of these two documents because you don't need them. And then for this bit, do not go any further than the middle line of this desk. If you do, he will kill you. So just wait here for him to go away. And then once he's gone, press F5 to save. Now, before you go through any door, you want to blink go through and then make sure you close the door behind you. It's not quite as imperative to do this on safe difficulty but it's a, a very good habit to get into so just start doing it. Make sure you close any door and then from the start room, so the start room is here, always always head right because this is more often than not where you'll find the rooms that you need. So this is where we'll find the level 2 keycard, but for now we need to find the level 1 to actually get in there. Okay, so this is where we'll find the level 1 keycard. You want to come in here and then just come here and wait. One seven three is nearby, so you want to grab just one battery should be enough. Okay, so one seven three is like right here. Just close the door. Just be aware that he is down here somewhere at this point. And then you want to come over here and grab the gas mask and the level one key card. And then if you listen, you can hear the gas. And we don't want to go through there right now, so we'll just go back this way. and then just save it, and then we want to head back to that level 2 keycard room. Now the thing about this door here is that wherever 173 is on the map, as soon as you cross over the threshold of this door, he will despawn and then he'll respawn in the room right here. If he's in the corridor here and he's chasing you, you can just open up this door step through and he will just disappear but what you want to make sure is that you blink before you open this door so blink go through keep going he's in there and you want to grab the level 2 keycard and the s nav and then close that you do not want to come in here and then blink here before going through this door because he will crash through i just blinked and he just crashed through the glass so now he is there so make sure you blink before this one and then just go straight in. You do not want to blink in this room. Go away. There we go. Okay. Now we have the level 2 keycard and the S nav, so we can save. Okay, this is what we've been looking for. This is 914. So you need a level 2 keycard to open the door. And then you want to come over here and grab the med kit and then close the door behind you. And then in here you want to drop the level 2 keycard, the gas mask, and the medkit. And then you want it on find, and then go. That will give us the level 3 keycard, the super gas mask, and the small medkit, which is more powerful than the normal medkit. And then we want to come back in here and we want to put the SNAV on the floor and then put it onto very fine. So that will give us the SNAV ultimate which completely fills in the map and it shows us the proximity of the SCPs. So as you can see 173 is nearby somewhere within that red circle. 
So once you've got those items, we can then leave here. Now it's time to go around like containment and getting the last few things we need before we can move on. So come back this way. So there's two things we need from this corridor. We want 860, which is in here. Which we'll need potentially in entrance zone, but let's hope we don't. So I'll get that one. And then in here there is 714, which personally I think is a completely useless SCP and normally I wouldn't bother getting it. I'm just doing so for the sake of this video so you can see where it is, but I never use it. They, uh, they nerfed it into the ground so it's not very useful anymore. Okay, so that's those. Now very often he will be in here, so make sure you close the door first and blink. Check the corner, there he is. Check the corners. You want to press this button to switch the doors and then just close them behind. Oh. You can also get a level one key card in there, it's right there. And there's also a battery in that side. So if you can't find the normal level one key card spawn, you can get them from there. Okay, so this is 372's chamber, and you definitely want to make a point of finding this room, because you want this document here. As you can see on the bottom is a code, and that is the code for the maintenance tunnels in heavy containment. And you really do not want to go into the tunnels if you can help it, so make sure to find this document, because that prevents you having to go into the tunnels. As always, just make sure you keep your eyes on 173 and back away. Just save. Around this point of the game, you should start being aware that 106 is going to spawn soon. So it's always good to make a mental note of where the Tesla gates are. Because if you lead him through a Tesla gate, he will die. So that's what you want to be looking for. Okay, so this is the most important room in the game. You need the level 3 keycard to get in. And this is where you'll find SCP-1499, which is the strongest SCP in the game in terms of its usefulness. So once you have this, if 106 turns up, you can just put this on for a second and he will go away. So it, this is something that as soon as you get the level 3 keycard, you want to be heading to this room as quickly as possible. So now that we have that, we just need to find the 939 tunnels and then we are ready to leave light containment. Okay, so this elevator leads down to the 939 tunnels and I'm going to go into quite a bit of detail about that. Uh, I'm just going to wait for 106 to turn up because I don't want him interrupting me, so I'm just going to stand here and wait for him to show up. Okay, so once 106 turns up, if you have 1499, just put it on for just a second, and then take it off again. And he's gone. If you don't have 1499, you want to run as fast as you can, find a Tesla gate, and just lead him through it. Just run through it and wait, and he will walk through it, and that will get rid of him. Okay, so for the 939 tunnels, I get a lot of comments of people telling me that they're scared to go down there, they don't know where to expect the, the 939s, but in all honesty it's probably the safest part of the entire game because 173 and 049 will not spawn down there, and once you learn where to expect the 939, it's very easy to navigate. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go down there and I'll show you the 3939 and the route that they take, their little patrol route. Okay, so I'll just... So the first one is just around this corner here. 
and his patrol route is this. He goes like this. This is where he goes, just in a loop constantly. Oh god. This is what he does. Over and over. The second one should be to the right. And his patrol route is this. Just this over and over. And then the third one is here. And his patrol route is just this. Just around this bit here. So that's where they are, and that's where they will patrol. Now, when you go away, when you first come down here, and you step out of the elevators, they will be at their spawn point. If you go back up into the elevator and back down again, they will restart at the same point. So, this one's start point is, I think, roughly where he is. Is someone there? Yes. This one's start point, I think, is around here somewhere. And then this one's start point is about here. So that's where they'll be when you very first step out of the elevators. So if we go back to the start, oh, go away. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna go back up. So what you want to do is you want to have the super gas mask so that you can sprint. Go back down. You don't have to rush through this part if you don't want to, if you're not confident, but the more you play it, the better you will get at knowing where to expect them. So you can just sprint through like this. So you want to come over here and grab the night vision goggles. It'll be over there somewhere. Now you also want to grab the severed hand, which will either be there. I can take these off now. Or it will be there. Okay. So we need to put the 9 volt battery in the night vision goggles to make space and then grab the hand or it can also spawn there. So check those three paces, you definitely want to get the hand, it's a very useful item. So once you've got those two items, we then come over here. Hello. Normally you can just run through, but I took time to show you where the severed hand would be, so it, it's taken a little bit longer. One thing to note with the 939 is that they're not very good at chasing you around corners. So if one of them does start running after you, just try and hit as many corners as you can, because it will stop them in their tracks. Are you going to move, buddy? Yep, so if they hear your footsteps, they will stop, so just make sure to stand still and let them go past. And then once they've gone, you want to head over here, to this switch, which will open the door right in front of us there. Now we just need to wait for him to move on. Oh buddy, you're struggling, aren't you? See, they don't like corners, so you can just get past them that way. But I don't recommend you try that, it's just I know what I can get away with. So for this one, so if you were to come down that elevator there, you would need to flip th this switch here to open that same door. So there's two switches for the same door, depending on uh, which elevator you come down. And then just go over here and done. So what I'll do is I will go up this elevator and then straight back down again and I'll show you how to get through this from the other side. Okay, that's him again. Okay. 
So again, if you have the super gas mask, definitely wear it because you can just absolutely sprint through this section, especially from this direction. So if you come down this one, if the gate is already, if the door is already open, you can just sprint past, keep going. You don't need to stop at all. Just follow this route. And you're done. And I'll show it again from this perspective. Just remember that they will reset to their spawn points every time the doors open. It's also the same thing when you put on 1499. It will put them back to their original spawn locations. So from this perspective, you can just run straight through. This one will be to the right, so that's fine. Always a good idea to put on the goggles so you can see. Yeah. Oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. And then once he's gone, just go back to here. Okay, so once you have all of these items, you're ready to go to heavy containment. So you want to look for this corridor here. Uh, as a no, I would say if 106 hasn't turned up in a while and you feel like he's due to arrive soon, it might pay just to stand in a corner and wait for him because you do not want him involved in what's about to happen up here. He just makes things very messy. So save before you go up and be aware that 173 may spawn up here so make sure to check the corners. It's more likely to happen on Keta but it's always worth checking. And then as soon as you open this door, 049 will spawn. So you want to quickly flip that switch. You can crouch like here and he won't be able to see you, but it just, it takes time and it's not really necessary in my opinion. So what I always do is just wait here for him. Just to know, I will say, if 106 does turn up whilst you're up here and you put on 1499, it can create a bug where 049 gets stuck in the stairs. That's one of the main reasons why you do not want 106 turning up when you're here. So lure him. You want to make sure you blink here because 173 could be anywhere. No matter what is happening, 173 should always be your priority. So always blink when you need to. Always check the corners, even if another SCP is chasing you. So now that we've flipped that switch, Speak of the devil. Just get rid of him. So once you've flipped that switch, you are ready to go to heavy containment. So you just need to find a door through. Okay. So as you can see on the map in front of me, this is a dead end. But it's always worth checking to see what it is because it could be something that you can take care of now or it could be somewhere that you need to come back to later so just knowing what's here so this is 895 which is good that this is here because we don't need that at all so we can just completely ignore it and move on with our lives do you mind So as you can see, it's also a dead end up here, but we need to know what's here because it might be a useful room. So on these gas walkways, always wear your gas mask and always, always check that corner because 173 likes to spawn there. For this corridor, uh, 106 very often spawns in the ceiling. He, he comes out of here, so always be aware that that is a possibility. So this is 008, which is something we need to deal with. So you just have to drop an item. So we need to recontain 008 in order to make our way through to entrance zone. 
So 173 very often, he's right there, spawns in there, and he will crash through the glass if you blink, and if 008 has not been recontained, then you will get infected and you will eventually die. So you want to make sure that you blink, open the door, keep looking at him, close the lid, and then close the door back up. And that's all you need to do. And then that's done. Okay, so 049 is the other side of this door, so just make sure you're prepared for him to come through one of these. Just run out the other one. So in order to get through these doors, you need the level 3 keycard and you need to have flipped that switch that triggered 049. This is the room to the Alpha Warhead. Uh, you don't need to go in there, I don't see any benefit particularly in doing that, but it's up to, up to you if you want to deactivate it. So 173 will spawn in the middle of this corridor. So just make sure you're aware that that's going to happen. Always keep your eye on him and just back away. Okay, so this is the worst part of the game. I absolutely hate going down here, especially on Keta runs. If something's going to go terribly wrong with a Keta run, it's probably going to happen here. So make sure you save. When we get to the bottom, the lights are going to go out. But we have the night vision goggles. 173 can spawn down here, but it's not very likely on safe difficulty. Uh, I have many videos of Keta and Thaumiel runs where he does turn up down here, and I, I deal with him down here. So check those out if you want to see how to go about that. So there's two switches and one keycard down here that we want to get. The first switch that you want to press is this one. Absolutely 100% get this one. There's also a medkit there if you want it. Always check the corners because like I said, 173 can be down here. You shouldn't be on safe, but you never know. So get rid of the level 3 keycard and pick up the level 4. And then you want to come over here and flip this one. And then this will turn the lights back on, but it will also wake up the zombies. Which is why you want to leave it till the last. And then when you run over to this elevator, it doesn't matter which elevator, which after you flip that switch this will happen at either elevator, 049 will come down. So you want to run back to the other one. They're super slow and their turn rate is very pathetic, so you can go past them quite easily. As with all SCPs like this, you want to try and draw them to one side of the corridor. So if you stand right against the wall on one side, you want them to come to this side, and then you can swing around them. So for 966-049, the zombies, you want to get them to one side of the corridor so you can just loop around them. So now that we have the level 4 keycard, we just need to find 106's chamber. So this door here is opened with the severed hand, and you desperately want this item because you do not want to have to keep going through these tunnels every single time. So definitely make a point of going into the 939 tunnels to get it, it's worth it. Okay, so we need to find all of these little dead ends that you can see on the map are likely to be important rooms, so they're the things that we need to head to. So again, put on the gas mask and check this corner. Yep, he's there. Let's close the door behind. So these are the maintenance tunnels that, again, you really want to avoid. Uh, 106 will spawn down there, 966 will spawn down there. There is a, an instance of SCP-500 down there, which will give you a complete heal, which is very useful, but in my opinion, it's just not worth the hassle of going down there. 
So you have this keypad here, and if you go onto the 372 document, it's 8828. And then that will let you through, and you don't have to go through these tunnels. So this is 106's chamber. You need the level 4 keycard to get through. 173 very often spawns down there, especially on Keta. He shouldn't be there on safe. But it's just, a, again, be aware that he can be down here. He will normally spawn in either of those two corners if he's going to be here, so just make sure you are aware. So you want to drop the level 4 keycard and pick up the level 5, and then we're going to recontain 106. So just to note, the D-boy on this monitor here is meant to be in this box here, but it's actually empty. He is up here above this walkway, and he is locked into the femur breaker, and he's about to have a very bad day. Sorry, buddy. So to recontain 106, you want to flip this first switch up, which will lower this box to the floor. Then you want to turn the sound transmission on, and then you want to break a dude's leg. And this will draw 106 to the D-boy and into that containment chamber. You want to wait for the music to start playing, give it a couple of seconds, and then flip the switch back down to on. A couple of seconds, you want to turn this sound transmission off, otherwise it will play for the duration of the rest of the game, which is very annoying. And then he should be contained. Always be aware that when you go back up here, other SCPs may be on the walkway. 966 like this walkway a lot, so always make sure that you check. Uh, apparently 049 likes it up here too. I'm just going to save. Okay. So you can always tell that he has been successfully recontained because the music stops once you pass through this door. So the music is here. And then it stops. If the music carries on once you've passed that door, it means you messed up the recontainment and he is still loose. But again, if you have 1499, it's not a massive deal if he's still about. So we've recontained 008 and we have the level 5 keycard. But before we go through to entrance zone, we need to know where 079's chamber is. Because we're going to need to come back to it later, so we don't want to be wasting time in entrance zone without knowing where we need to head to next. Because as soon as you go into entrance zone, the MTF will spawn. So you want to make sure that you are as prepared as possible before you go through there. So we need to find 079. Okay, so this is 096's trigger event. You can look at him through the glass and he won't attack you, it's fine. If another SCP is chasing you at this point, there's no need to stand around here. You can just step through the threshold it will trigger his event and you can go off and do other things, check other rooms. You don't need to stand around and wait if there's a good reason not to. So 173 can be in here, which is obviously a major pain in the butt to deal with. If he is, prioritise looking at him over not looking at 096. 173 should always be your priority. So you want to flip this switch. And then you want to come around here, keep looking at the floor. And then you want to flip these two switches. And then you'll be able to leave. So this corridor here, uh, 106 
as I've recontained him, this isn't an issue, but he very often will pass through from one side to the other. If he does, what you want to do, if you come across this corridor, is just to step in a couple of steps, crouch, and then back out. And he won't chase you, he will just continue walking forward. If you just run forward, he will stop and then start chasing you. So you want to make sure that you just gingerly go in, crouch, make sure you crouch, and then back out and you'll be fine. This room is one that we always want to avoid because it will trigger 966, which are very annoying to deal with. But for the sake of uh, me covering all bases, I will trigger them. So these are invisible, so if you put on the night vision goggles you will be able to see them. What they do, and what they've already done by this point, is that they will deplete your, uh, your sprint. So now when I sprint I have a lot less energy to work with. So you would need to supplement that by using the super gas mask more often. Again, 173 will spawn in the middle of this corridor. So we're looking for little dead end rooms, so it's probably going to be this one straight ahead. So I'll just put on the gas mask so we can speed along. So as you can see, there's like there's a dead end that way and a dead end this way, but this is entrance zone, so it's just going to be a dead end entrance zone room. Whereas this one should be... can I see it from here? Yep, yeah, that's 079's chamber, which we will come back to later. So now I know where he is, I know exactly where to come back to. So now we are ready to go to entrance zone. You do not want to go through to entrance zone any sooner than this. Oh, hello. Because MTF will spawn once you cross over the threshold. You can also pick up night vision goggles from in there if you don't have them already. But I highly recommend that you get them from the 939 tunnels. So once you're ready to go to entrance zone, you want to head to the right side of the map. Because that more often than not, that's where the room we want will spawn. As soon as we cross over, MTF will spawn. So what you're looking for in entrance zone is the corner of the map, which as you can see is right in front of me. As I said, it will more often than not be on the right side of entrance zone, and it's this room that we're looking for, the electric centre. Let's check that to the end. So you need the level 5 keycard to get in there, and you want to make sure you lock the door behind you, because 173 and 966 like this room, so you need to make sure that you protect yourself. Always check the corners. He doesn't normally spawn up here, but again, it's always worth checking. There's no reason not to check every single corner. So what you want to do is flip this switch so that it's off, and then put the lighting back on. If you hover over this, it will automatically flip off like it just did, so then you just want to switch it back again. So you want the remote door control to be off, and you want the secondary lighting to be back on before you leave. And then once you've done that, you really want to check to make sure that there's no 966s around. Would like to advise all surviving personnel once again, do not attempt to reach the exits. Either find a safe area or go into one of the many evacuation shelters inside the facility. Always be careful when leaving here because 173 might be around the corner. 049 also likes to turn up at this point as well. So now we know where he is, we've drawn him to this side of the corridor. We'll just put on the super gas mask and run around him. Just lock him in there. 966, oh hello. 966s can open doors, which is why you really need to be careful when dealing with them. Make sure you close all doors. 
because they can open the door for 173. So now we need to head back to heavy containment. Draw him over to the side of the corridor and then just swing around him. Tesla gates don't stop 049 at all, so don't rely on them to help you. So we need to head all the way across this way, back to 079's chamber. Okay, so once we get to 079's room, you have to be careful because again, 173, 049 and 966 can all spawn here or trap you in here. Make sure you close the doors behind you. And then all you want to do is just get close enough to trigger him. And then you can leave. You don't have to stand around and listen to him if you don't want to. Put on the night vision goggles to check for 966 because they are very often around here. Lock the door behind you. How is that fair? So again, draw him to one side of the corridor, swing around him. His turn speed is very pitiful, so it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, hello buddy. If you hear him crying, just look at the floor straight away. At this point of the game, if I have triggered 966, I normally keep my night vision goggles on because they are extremely annoying to deal with. Speak of the devils. So again, just draw them to this side of the corridor. Swing around. And then we want to head all the way back to the electrical centre. Again, lock the door behind you. It's a good idea to have the night vision goggles on at this point because sometimes a 966 will be up here already. And then you want to come back around here and flip this back down to on. The doors to gate B are now open. He says gate B, but gate A is also open, so you can just go to whichever one you want. I have no preference at all of which ending I get, as long as I leave the facility I don't care. So now it's time to find the gate, that's our only objective at this point is just to leave. Okay, so 173 very often spawns down here. There we go. So if you can, stand up here and blink a bunch of times so that he can sort of reveal himself so at least you know where he is. That's half the battle. You want to just keep looking in his direction. And there we have gate B. So I will save it here so I can come back to here if I want. And then I will just go through. Is Okay, so we've got a 966 down here. We've got 049 and I... Hello. And we've also got 173. So, okay. So we'll just lure him over to here. Come on. I don't remember if I've mentioned, but the super gas mask gives you unlimited sprint, so it's always worth getting. Okay, 966 is here somewhere. Whoa, what? I don't know if 173 is still here, so I'll 
blink. I can't hear him move. Oh god. So 173 has gone away. Okay, so let's see if I can find gate A. Okay, so this is my least favourite part of the entire game. Is 860. And sometimes you have no choice but to go through here. So this is why you need the blue key. And very often this corridor will prevent you from progressing. So you need to do this. So you want to go through with the blue key. And this is 860-1, which is the forest. And you want to navigate this maze. This is not helpful. These notes on the floor show you that you're going in the right direction, but that does not help me out here whatsoever, so I'll just take a gamble. You do not want to sprint. If you if you run through here, you will die, so you need to just walk and take your time. And just hope that you pick the right fork in the road. So that's 860-2, who is going to kill me any minute now. So once you reach the other side, you will have another door like this. So you just use the blue key again. And you're out. Interesting. Hello, buddy. Sure. Okay, so gate A should now be this way. As our MTF. That's inconvenient. Okay. Okay, so for now I'll just go through gate B and show you how to escape this way. Like I said, I have no preference over which ending I get. As long as I've finished the game, I don't really mind. So for this one, you want to be wearing the super gas mask because you need the unlimited sprint. And what you want to do is run along this corridor until you get just before the end. And then you want to wait here. And you need to wait for the helicopter to go overhead. You might need to... there we go. So once that music starts, just give it a few seconds until the helicopter's over here somewhere. And then just sprint. And this guy will shoot at you, but he shouldn't hit you. Those are my evasive manoeuvres. Clearly very effective. And then you want to just come down here. And then that's it. Okay, so if you deactivated the warhead in heavy containment, the alarm will stop going off and then MTF will come through here and shoot you. So one way or another, if you get the gate B ending, you will die. And that's it, that's how you beat SCP Containment Breach. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching, I hope this was helpful. As I said at the beginning, if you have any questions or if I missed anything out, I'm sure I missed out a lot, feel free to ask and I will do my best to answer them all. I may just answer in the comments or I might make a video answering questions, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thank you again for watching guys and take care.